Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Jesse just dropped some toys. <laughs> Anyways, okay, this is the second time I tried restarting this, so we're just gonna leave that in there. Anyways, what was I saying? Today is April 2nd, which is Friday, and I wanted to hop on here and show you some amigurumis that I made this week, mostly because two of them are going to a new home tomorrow. I got dropped them off in the post office. I also have a little bit of happy mail. Why did I say that weird? Happy mail <laughs> to share with you. And I also wanted to say that I am doing uh, VEDA, which is video every day in April, on my second channel, which is a vlog lifestyle type channel. It's just uh, vlogs of us here. <laughs> so if you have any interest in uh, knowing more about me other than crochet stuff, uh, check that out. It'll be in the description below. Uh, so far, I just got the one video out. <laughs> I'm vlogging again today, though. But, uh, yeah, so I just want to share these amigurumis with you guys, and, uh, then I got to package up two of them to go to a new home. I feel like the camera's crooked. That's okay, though. <laughs> so, uh, I showed all my what you're working on Wednesday that I was working on some bees. Get them all over here. I made quite a few bees. I have this pattern memorized now. So, uh, I'm, the last three of these that I made, I just made off my head. So, uh, I showed you, I think, these three. Oops, they're hard to hold. <laughs> um, on Wednesday, watch you work on Wednesday. So they're just really cute. They're all made out of scrap balls, so I'm not 100% sure on all the colors. I know most of their colors, but just cute little bees with little faces. And then someone wanted to purchase these two from me, but since I'm trying to build up a stash for craft fairs, I just went ahead and made two more, <laughs> the same colors. So there's there's two sets of twins now. <laughs> so two of these will be going to the person who purchased them from me and then the other two will be going back into my big bag of amigurumi that I like to build up for craft fairs and such and then I also made a blue one <laughs> so I actually made this started this one at the doctor appointment with Jesse he had to go get a physical and uh, for kindergarten Ugh. but um, so I made I finished one of the pink ones there up to as far as I could go before needing to stuff it because I didn't bring any stuffing with me and then I finished most of the blue one there, like hat, that, not that much. And then I finished them both up yesterday with the, their little wings and stuffed them and all that. So I have six bees currently. Let's see if I can hold them all. Whoops. Two of them will be going to a new home tomorrow. I gotta drop them off tomorrow. Look at them, they're so cute. <laughs> and I'll probably make some more in other colors uh, between now and whenever because I, I like the colored ones, they're really cute. And, um, the original ones are adorable, too. <laughs> and, uh, it would be cute with eyelashes. But I just want to build up. I like having a lot of little amigurumis when I do craft fairs. Because, I'll, you know, I'll take bigger ones that cost more. But usually the little ones that are on the cheaper side are the ones that sell the most. Uh, from my experience. So, I like to have a bunch of little amigurumis. Mostly because, you know, if a kid sees it and is talking about it, all the other parents will buy it for them. So, uh, it's always good to have little amigurumis at crafters. But, yeah, so that's my amigurumis that I worked on. So, I, I made those six, plus I made that pencil for National Pencil Day and that pencil case. So, that's eight finished objects so far for this week. <laughs> um, I need to do a No Catch Jam episode, but I'll probably do that uh, maybe Monday. I don't know. All right. So, there's those bees. <laughs> I got two uh, pieces of Happy Mail. One was an item from my Amazon wish list. And I got one of those cool uh, gift bags. I always save these and use them. I usually use them for Christmas presents here at our house, just between the three of us, so that I can reuse them again. <laughs> like I'll put something for Jesse or Devin down in it and then put it under the tree. And then uh, when he opens it, I can just put it back in my stash. Because <laughs> I really like these. They're really like good quality. They don't like rip, you know, they're good. <laughs> but anyways, another one of those for my stash. That's not the point, that's not the gift. The gift was this awesome book, Crochet Iconic Women. And it says, um, emigrumi patterns for 15 women who changed the world. <laughs> He's stopped saying stuff. And I think her name is Carla Mitterani. Mitterani, can you see that? But, uh, the main reason I, this has been on my wish list and I wanted it is because of right here. <laughs> I want to make the queen <laughs> really bad. I think, uh, Valerie at Val Valerie's Cuddly Cat Creations Crochet. I always forget what that last word is. She made one. It's hanging behind her. She made two, I think, because she gifted one, and then the other one's hanging behind her. And, of course, the judge, everyone loves. No, there's Jane Austen. Uh, Marie Curie's on there. Uh, I don't know. Let me flip through real fast. Anyways, this is from uh, Deanna. She sent it to me. So, thank you so much, Deanna. 
think it's got a picture before every pattern without words or without pattern on it. So there's Amelia Earnhardt. So cute. Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> that is so adorable. I love anything to do with uh, the monarchy. I always watch documentaries about that, so I think I'd really love that. Jane Goodall. And a monkey. The monkey pattern is in there too. Woo! Slow down. Audrey Hepburn. Billie Holiday. That is such a cute doll. A little dress. Cleopatra. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Emmeline Pankhurst. I suck at pronouncing things. And I, there's another one in here I'm going to pronounce wrong, I know. Because I always pronounce her name wrong. Florence Nightingale. That is so cute. You know, you wouldn't even have to use it as Florence Nightingale because it just looks like a little, like, pilgrim woman also if you wanted to make it a pilgrim person. This is the one I got pronounced wrong because I can never say her name right. I read it as Greta <laughs> Thunberg, but I know she pronounces it differently because she has, you know, she's got culture. She, you know, it's not Greta. It's Greta or something. Yeah, I can't, I can't say it. Jane Austen, which is adorable and I love everything about Jane Austen. This one I'm not even going to try because I don't want to slaughter it so bad that I look like an idiot. <laughs> that is adorable. I like that one. And it's got a little bit of information about the person, which is cool. Marie Curie. There's a new movie about her and I really want to see it. Rosa Parks. Which is also adorable. They're all adorable. Ruth Bader... Ginsburg. I always say I can't pronounce things. I know who these people are, but I can't pronounce their names. <laughs> Serena. Is that how you say it? Serena Williams. I remember watching her as a kid. Her and her sister. Like They were like on posters at schools and stuff. And in the back, it's got technique uh, tutorials. And I know this is supposed to be like women empowering, which is great. But I, I kind of wish they'd also make a men version one. So that you could have... You know, you can have both sides of the awesome people, <laughs> you know? I, I know that's, I know a lot of people can be like, oh, but the whole point of this is to, you know, point out women. I get that. <laughs> I get that. And all these women are great. But I'd like to have some of the uh, iconic men, too, because, you know, even though a lot of people don't like men. <laughs> this sounds bad. But, um, you know, they've done, some of them have done a lot of great things. So it'd be cool to have, like, iconic men also. And maybe even different iconic things like what they're iconic for it'd be cool to have like a whole series is what i'm trying to say <laughs> and uh it'd be even cool to have like iconic um like celebrities that did great things or like uh you know people who did different things scientists different scientists for different things you know it'd just be cool to have a whole series to say that it would be a good teaching tool is what i would think like with all these you can make these and then you could make you know have a class to teach around them for younger kids you know uh, you know, like her. You can make a whole series of things for her. Jane Austen, Maria Curie, Florence Nightingale, all of them. You can do that with all of them. And teach, you know, use the doll as a visual for the lesson. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. But anyways, I love that book. I can't wait to get started on that. But it's probably going to go on the back burner. Because I want to try to work up a bunch of emigrimis to have in a stash. The next Happy Meal comes from Michelle. And she had a bunch of sewing patterns that she, um... Uh, Message me and asked me if I would want. So she let me pick from a bunch that she sent me pictures of. So I mostly picked out pajamas. <laughs> but um, this is boys and men's pajama pants because I have a boy and a man in my life. Eventually, two men. <laughs> I don't think of that. But uh, Jesse grows so fast that it's not even worth buying nice clothes for him because he's just going to grow out of them. So if I can make him pajama pants, that'd be great. And I could even use some of Devin's older pajama pants to make Jesse new pajama pants. This is uh, men's and women's pajama sets. It's also got a hoodie, which would be cool to make a hoodie. I've never made a hoodie. And socks, like booties. Are they wearing them? Yeah, you can kind of see them down there. And then this one is child's pajamas. It's got a bunch of different cuts. You can make pants with long sleeve shirts or shorts with short sleeve shirts. And, um, the styles look similar. It doesn't look like it's boy and girl 
separated. You know, you, do, you would just separate it by the colors, I guess. Back here's the different cuts that you can do. Those are cool. I don't understand why they have girl size, girl version and boy version when they're literally the same. It's just <laughs> like different colors. Okay, whatever. And then I got this one. It's costumes. I have never made a costume this elaborate, but I have always wanted a costume like this right here. And you can thank the Hunchback of Notre Dame for that. And so I got that one. And then the last one I'm super excited about. This will be probably the first one I make. And I'll probably make me one and my mom one and probably some extra ones. <laughs> but it's uh, aprons. And they got a bunch of different little styles for the half aprons and like the full body ones. And they got pockets, which is always good. <laughs> That's exciting. I'm looking really forward to making this. I think that would be really cute. I'm looking for that. <laughs> and then she also sent this really cute card. It looks like a watercolor. Does it say anything on there? Oh, it's for it's for MD Anderson Cancer Center. University of Texas. It's really pretty. It doesn't have like a copyright for the photo. So I don't know who painted that originally or whatever. It's a really nice note. And then she also included a half a yard of Thomas the Train fabric she thought Jesse would like it so what I'm gonna do with it because it's enough I'm gonna make a drawstring bag for him to put toys in because a lot of times when we go on like car rides he'll take toys with him or if he goes to like his his grandma's um, so that'll be a little bag for him to put stuff in to carry around to wherever he wants to go <laughs> so yeah so that was the happy mile that I got and my bumblebees and uh, I got interrupted a few times, so I have to edit a few times. But yeah, um, I will link below. I'll link this book right here if you're interested in checking it out. And uh, I will also link my other channel below if you're interested in checking out my vlogs. <laughs> I can't promise that I'll do every day because I usually burn out and stop. But I'm definitely going to try to do uh, as many as I can. And they're going to be shorter. They're not going to be like huge elaborate vlogs. They're just going to be tidbits of our days. Because a lot of our days are the same. <laughs> but um, Jesse's got some more appointments coming up. He's got an eye appointment on Monday. And a dental, dental appointment. Why did I say that word? <laughs> on Thursday. We're getting them all ready for school registration. <laughs> making sure everything's uh, the way it should be. We're also thinking about putting him in karate classes soon. So I've been uh, looking into the one that's local here. It's, it's pretty close to here. It's like five miles away. <laughs> and um, I think he'd like that a lot. So... Who knows? We might be vlogging about that in the future. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and get this edited and up because i got some stuff to do. i got lots of laundry to do today. And I want to start crocheting some unicorns. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.